Number 5. Samsung Galaxy S20 FE – Best for Most People The Galaxy S20 FE delivers a fantastic 120Hz display, excellent cameras and solid performance for a very reasonable price. The Samsung Galaxy S20 FE carries over the basic design elements of the S20 range, but it is obviously and decidedly less premium than its pricier brethren. I should also mention that this one has an amazing display. Speaking of which, Samsung opted for a flat piece of Gorilla Glass 3, gone as the curved high-end glass of the main S20 line. Additionally, the screen carries over the best feature from its peers, the 120Hz refresh rate. It's a variable refresh rate, which means it changes depending on the task at hand. If there's one important spec that the FE carries over from the S20 series, it's the premier Snapdragon 865 processor. The 865, along with the Adreno 650 GPU and 6GB RAM, allow the FE to deliver outstanding performance. Where the S20 has a 4000mAh battery, the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra have 4500mAh and 5000mAh power cells respectively. Therefore, the S20 FE's 4500mAh capacity splits the difference and covers its bases. A triple camera system is expected on today's top phones, and the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE was sure to include them. With standard, ultra-wide and telephoto lenses on offer, users have plenty of flexibility to grab the shot they want. The Samsung Galaxy S20 FE is a fine phone, though it stops just short of being excellent. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy A71 – Best for the Money the Galaxy A71 builds on that formula with updates to the camera and chipset, and it also sports an exciting new design with a smaller cutout. Samsung hasn't changed too much here from last year, but the updates make the Galaxy A71 an enticing option in the mid-range category in 2020. Samsung offered vibrant gradient designs last year across the Galaxy A series, and in 2020 it's making a few tweaks to the design. Each quadrant has a slightly different hue, and the overall effect is rather striking. The Galaxy A71 sports a 6.7-inch Super AMOLED screen with a tall 20 to 9 aspect ratio and a resolution of 2400 by 1080. The rounded rectangular module on the phone's back holds four cameras, the main one at 64 megapixels. Although that number matches the one seen on the Galaxy S20's telephoto camera, this isn't the same cam. The rest are a 5 megapixel depth camera, an ultra wide 12 megapixel shooter with a 123 degree angle of view, and a 5 megapixel macro camera for taking extreme close ups. The phone is running Android 10 with Samsung's One UI 2.0 skin on top, while on the inside it's packing the reasonably fast Snapdragon 730 upper mid range processor with either 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. The 4500mAh battery on board can last this phone well over two days of light usage on a single charge. The Samsung Galaxy A71 has plenty going for it, from its big screen and power to the feature-packed cameras and massive battery. This could well be a winning formula at an attractive price point. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy A51 5G – Best Mid-Range Phone Samsung had an ace up its sleeve in the form of a 5G variant. The Galaxy A51 5G is the cheapest 5G smartphone that Samsung sells. In some markets, it's one of the very few and often the only 5G device available in that price bracket. The Samsung A51 5G looks just like the LT variant, no surprises there, but there is a subtle change. Since this is a more upmarket version of the device, Samsung has swapped out plastic from the frame for aluminium. This makes the device feel more premium in the hand, and it's a welcome change. Both variants of the Galaxy A51 5G have exactly the same display. It's a 6.5-inch Infinity-O Super AMOLED 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution, 20 to 9 aspect ratio display with slim bezels. The viewing angles are excellent, and the panel gets nice and bright even under direct sunlight. It's filled with a non-removable LiPo 4000 mAh battery that provides fast battery charging at 15 watts. There's a 48 megapixel f2.0 primary sensor at the back alongside a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide and a 5 megapixel f2.2 depth camera. The Galaxy A51 was the first Samsung device to come with a macro camera. That 5 megapixel f2.4 sensor is present on the 5G variant as well. A 32 megapixel f2.2 front camera handles selfie duties. The smartphone is integrated with a 6 GB or 8 GB RAM and has 128 GB internal storage that offers the capacity to store videos, music files, images, and more. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus Best All Round 
If you want a near-perfect smartphone for everything, you should take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20+. Plus. This beast is packed with tons of performance specs, great cameras, battery life, compatibility with 5G networks, and the best screen in the business so far. Let's take a closer look at it. If you've seen its predecessor, you'll see that the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus looks pretty similar to it. It's not a bad thing, though, as the Galaxy 5 series has delivered for a long time the sleekest features out there. It also comes in different colors, you can choose all of which are beautiful. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus is packed with a nice 6.7-inch AMOLED panel with a WQHD Plus resolution of 3200 by 1440 that offers tons of pixel density. Besides the amazing sharpness, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus presents a 120Hz refresh rate as well for playing your games at high speeds. The brightness was nice as well, and the contrast was just as good to present a nice performance overall. The best in this regard, for performance, it's packed with the Snapdragon 865 system on chip, with 128GB of storage and 12GB of RAM, which is amazing for running games and completing your everyday tasks at super high speeds without any problem. It really is one of the best Samsung phones in the market. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra – Best High-End Phone Samsung has made its most elegant-looking phone yet with a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared-off edges combined with a sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner office vibe. Measuring 6.49 by 3.03 by 0.32 inches, 164.8 by 77.2 by 8.1 millimeters, and weighing 7.3 ounces or 208 grams, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is not as big as the Galaxy S20 Ultra, but it's still a handful compared to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which had a smaller 6.8-inch screen. The massive 6.9-inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold, and colorful. More important, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features a trio of rear cameras, which are amazing. The Fablet camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with an f1.8 aperture, and it's paired with a 12MP ultra-wide camera with a 120-degree field of view and f2.2. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50 times super-resolution zoom. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is one of the fastest Android phones around, as it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra checks off a lot of bests for new phones in 2020, including the best camera on an Android phone and the best-looking display on any phone, period. Buying Guide Firstly, memory. Phones have two kinds of memory, random access memory or RAM and read-only memory or ROM. RAM, along with the processor, determines the speed of the phone and its ease of operation. ROM is what most people refer to as storage. This is the memory that's used to store the OS, apps and all the videos, photos and songs that you want to store on the phone. An average user should be happy with a 2GB RAM and 16GB ROM. But if you're a heavy user, go for a phone with at least 3 to 4 gigabytes RAM and 64 gigabytes ROM. Processor. Much like smartphone cameras, there's a lot of hype about processors with jargon like quad-core, optical, Snapdragon, MediaTek, and so on. Here's a simple rule of thumb. Look at the processing speed that's expressed in terms of gigahertz or GHZ. The higher the speed, the faster the processor. If you're going to do a lot of photo or video editing or play online games and stream videos, opt for a faster processor. And lastly, battery. Are you the kind of user who's likely to have multiple apps open simultaneously? Do you see yourself being a heavy consumer of video streaming apps or playing games? Heavy online usage tends to drain batteries faster. If you belong to this category of users, then it's better to go for a phone with a long-lasting battery.